Richard Burton, the explorer, tramped the wide world in rough style, searching for the highest mountains and the dim source of the Nile. When the sable camel knelt for him, to heaven he went not, but awoke beside a river on a distant alien spot. He sailed up the great river on a quest to find its source. And to fathom why mankind was there, that secret he would force. But the river master smelled his trail and came to hunt him down. So he just dropped in the river and then he drowned. You got to drink up the river. You got to drink up the river. You got to drink up the river until you drown. You got to drink up the river. You got to drink. You got to drink up the river until you drown. He awoke reborn next morning up the river far away. In the midst of joy, a great man in a chilly sunless day. He was nigh to the head waters, but the ape men knocked him dead. And he resurrected elsewhere, disappointment filled his head. What's worse, a foe he knew and loathed had resurrected there, and could point him out to searching spies before he could prepare an escape. So he took action when the foreign sun went down, jumped in and drank up the river until he drowned. You got to drink up the river. You got to drink up the river. You got to drink up the river until. You got to drink up the river. You got to drink up the river. You got to drink up the river until you drown. He would off himself quite often, unlike most, found no distress in this novel way of travel called the Suicide Express. In his quest for the headwaters and the secret of the place, he did make acquaintance with most cultures of the human race. 'Twas seven hundred times or more he shifted in the night till the river masters caught him and they warned him that he might die forever if he once again, in skipping out of town, jumped in and drank up the river until. You got to drink up the river. You got to drink up the river. You got to drink up the river until you drown. You got to drink up the river. You got to drink up the river. You got to drink up the river until you drown. If you go to River World, not hell or heaven, when you die. And you find your little stone age land beneath an alien sky. You can build yourself a hut, a boat, a spear, a town, a land, and three times a day get dinner from the bucket in your hand. But if you hate your chieftain 'cause he's always making war, or you've lost your dinner bucket, or your hut mate is a bore, suicide is not a sin. It's just a way to get. You can just drink up the river until you drown. You got to drink up the river. You got to drink up the river. You got to drink up the river until you drown. You got to drink up the river. You got to drink up the river. You got to drink up the river until you drown. You got to drink up the river. You got to drink. You got to drink up the river until you drown. You got to drink up the river. You got to drink up the river. You got to drink up the river until you drown.
climb the sacred hill where only spirits go. I smoke the pipe and bless the wind, then touch the withered tree. I called my guide to stones by name, who brought a dream to me. I saw a world of many lights. A land where eagles die, where forests vanish from the hills, and mighty rivers cry, whose people reach up towards the sky with urgent silent pleads. Yet all around the mountains fell, and sorrow killed the sea. Our children do not know the land to stone set with a sigh. They cannot hear the thunder shout, nor see the great bird fly. My lesson hidden buffalo is be one with the land to honor nature is to hold. The future in your hands. There are tiny little elves 
Sylvan sprites that live inside my walls. At night they steal outside and tie my kitten's tail in balls. By day they make the roofing creak and they cause the pipes to moan. And when I try to call someone, they disconnect the phone. You know, reach out and touch oh, someone. The elves are on the loose tonight. Suburbia, beware. They emptied out my shaving cream, and they filled the can with nails. Look, no razor stubble. If you thought elves were sly back in the days of arcane lore, with modern day's technologies, they'll trick you even more. One night they got up on my shelf and stole my super glue. This stuff's really sticky. A big drop here, a small one there, beneath my tennis shoe. God, he needs odor eaters, you know? Next morning I found milk all spilled outside the icebox door. Quick, get the cat. And there was Kitty traumatized, his paws glued to the floor. Yes, the elves are on the loose tonight, suburbia beware. One night they grabbed my razor, now my cat has a mohawk hair. Uh, look, he looks punk. If you thought elves were sly back in the days of arcane lore, with modern day's technologies <laughs> they'll trick you even more. Now if you have this problem, then please write and let me know. Oh yes, please write and let him know. I just can't seem to kick them out like house guests. They won't go. <laughs> I sleep with one eye open now and one foot out of bed. Quick, make his foot. I haven't seen my cat for days. He packed his toys and fled. Oh, the elves are on the loose tonight, so baby, beware. My razor's gone again, oh lord, well, I haven't got a prayer for my hair. That's right. If you thought elves were sly back in the days of arcane lore, with modern day's technologies, you can't know what's in store. And I'm heading for the hotel next door. <laughs> Where does he think we came from? <laughs> <laughs>
Someone we'd be better off without But best not mention names For we don't know who's about But why commit a murder And risk the fires of hell When black widows in the privy Can do it just as well Now poison's good and daggers And arrows in the back And if you're really desperate You can try a front attack But are they really worthy Of the risk of being caught When black widows in the privy Need not be bribed or bought so if there's one of whom you wish most simply to be rid Just wait till dark and point the way to where the widow's hid And tell them that you'll think they'll find this one is the best And black widows in the privy will gladly do the rest
In revenge on me, the Kelpie stole seven brave sons away. And oh, I rue, but though is it true, they'll ne'er see the light of day. Mari, will you walk with me and stay here by my side? Fear not to tread from the cold so red while the moon soars bright and high. Spare me your words of unkind truth since you come here no more. Your cold mortal heart cuts up the part and I but even the score. For all the love that we once shared, I might let them go free. You say I'm sinning, you I can't win, yet you dare ask this of me. Mari, will you walk with me and stay here by my side? Fear not to tread from the cold so red while the moon soars bright and high. Sheena skips from man to man and stops dead in her tracks. He stands by the stream, red night of dreams, beyond the bonfires, dark with stacks. Down to the sea, bright gleams the hair in Sheena's wild ride. Storm winds toss up the boy thought lost, and Sheena's the Kelpie's prize. Mari, will you walk with me and stay here by my side? Fear not to tread from the cold so red while the moon soars bright and high. Drop the stone in and never a word, Mari now walks alone. Spends her days reliving his ways while her heart grows heavy as a stone. Brown Mari walks the barren shore and draws a sobbing breath. Proud Mari sneers and her heartbroken tears keep her company till death. Mari, will you walk with me and stay here by my side? Fear not to tread from the cold so red while the moon soars bright and high. Once I walked an endless land with the wanderers swinging stride and once upon a mighty steed forever i could ride and once a tall ship rode the tide at midnight from the bay and i could climb aboard her and travel far away through centuries and lifetimes no journey twice the same With love or fear to guide me on Seeking death or fame Or hearing just a still small voice That said you cannot stay I could leave the past behind me And travel far away but now the great jets thunder And they sing of distant lands But all their promised wonders Turn to dust within my hands For I can travel half the world And return in half a day And I fear that only death Remains to take me far away for with steel and steam and gasoline and turbines whining scream they have trapped me in a nightmare that is someone else's dream of a world so small and guarded you could hold it in your hand a world that knows no land called far away So I waste my lives in dreaming Or in bloody useless war But somewhere there's a flash of fire And a mighty rising roar And I pray God speed for those who ride And I live now for the day 
when I leave my world behind me and travel far away. Reflections placid on the lake Ripple with the breeze Serene the water glistens bright With majesty of trees And at the mouth the waterfall Cascades the water's soul Learn this lesson, O oh well, my child for here you find control As the lake is deep and calm So must be your will Like rocks control the waters fall Your voice must be the mill And as each drop falls at a time Then so must be each song for every drop gleams differently, control will keep you strong. Emotion lies within and deep, the surface lies unmarred. For each song you release will show a deepness left unscarred Within you lies a life of songs Yet each must come with time Each listener will rejoice or cry Your soul will soar and climb For as the lake is deep and calm So must be your will like rocks control the waters fall Your voice must be the mill And as each drop falls at a time Then so must be each song For every drop gleams differently Control will keep you strong Once more I stand beside this lake Though silent now and old And yet the scars of life within Can't hide what I'd been told A lesson learned while but a child The teacher chose to tell And though death now has claimed her songs I still remember well As the lake is deep and calm So has been my will Like rocks control the waters fall My voice has been the mill As every drop gleams differently Each word has held me strong Control has kept me sane to tell this songbird's final song. Ooh, ah, ah, Fetid galleons, daggers in their skivvies With infected tattooed fingers on a blunderbuss or two Signs of scurvy in their eyes And only mermaids on their minds It's from them I would expect to hear the F word Not from you 
we sit down to have a chat? It's F word this and F word that. I can't control how you young people talk to one another. But I don't want to hear you use that F word with your mother. And the lumberjacks from Kodiak vacationing in Anchorage. Enchanted with their pine tar soup and caribou shampoo. With seven weeks of back pay in their aromatic woolens, it's from them I would expect to hear the F word, not from you. We sit down to have a chat, it's F word this and F word that. I can't control how you young people talk to one another. But I don't want to hear you use that F word with your mother. There's the militant survivalist with Gucci bandoleros taking tacky khaki walkie talkies to the rendezvous. Trading all the latest armor piercing ammo information. It's from them I would expect to hear the F word, not from you. We sit down to have a chat. It's F word this and F word that. I can't control how you young people talk to one another. But I don't want to hear you use that F word with your mother. There are jocks who think that God himself is drooling in the bleachers. In a cold November downpour with a belly full of brew. Whose entire idea of heaven has a lot to do with football. It's from them I would expect to hear the F word, not from you. We sit down to have a chat, it's F word this and F word that. I can't control how you young people talk to one another. But I don't want to hear you use that F word with your mother. There's unsavory musicians with their filthy pinko lyrics who destroy the social fabric and enjoy it when they do. With their groupies and addictions and their poor, heartbroken parents. It's from them I would expect to hear the F word, not from you. We sit down to have a chat. It's F word this and F word that. I can't control how you young people talk to one another. But I don't want to hear you use that F word with your mother. The elder lass walked out alone in the quietness of morning.
she were going to be no more a maid and the summertime were a coming he took her up and held her there in the quietness of morning she was And when she thought to look at him in the quietness of morning, she held a oak tree in her arms, and the winter snows were falling. Well, I was born a vampire when my mother, she was bitten. She seemed so relieved when I blood drained my first kitten. For when she had to nurse me, well, it got a little nippy. So she tried a formula of cow's blood mixed with skippy with a flap of leather wing. I am a fly by night. I am a fly by night, and you can be one too. I was a sort of half-breed, for it wasn't me, it was bitten. The sun, it couldn't kill me, so it seemed only fitting that I'd be sent to school where I became the teacher's pet. When I slipped that leash and chain, they found their regret that with a flap of leather wing. I am a fly by night, I am a fly by night, and you can be one too. I finished up my school, and though we change schools very often, in woodshop I surprised to teach by building my first coffin. Biology enthralled me and the circulatory system And when the teach taught typing blood I almost could have kissed him with a flap of leather wings I am a fly by night I am a fly by night And you can be one too My college days were happy And my knowledge grew extensive Cash was short, for rare blood types they get so darned expensive. I organized a blood drive and got volunteers aplenty. The Red Cross got 15 fresh pints each time I siphoned 20 with a flap of leather wings. I am a fly by night, I am a fly by night, and you can be one too. Well, now I'm out among you, and I run a diet clinic. I drain away their weight in blood until they look anemic. But now it's time to leave because there almost was a riot. Besides, you risk your health by living on a high-fat diet with a flap of leather wings. I am a fly by night. I am a fly by night, and you can be one too.
sorrow the Cossacks whistling while their foes lay sleeping by the gate stood Marusanyaka silently watching weeping by the gate stood Marusanyaka silently watching weeping hid from foes by the cloak of darkness through the gates at midnight o'er the hills rose not the sun but the moon to guide them with its pale light o'er the hills rose not the sun but the moon to guide them with its pale light Shed no tears for me, Maru Senyaka, only say prayers for us. May our faith protect and guide us homeward as our father's faith before us. May our faith protect and guide us homeward as our father's faith before us. Old and young women stood together, flowing tears not hiding. Hard the warring, harder still the waiting, when to war their men go riding. Hard the warring, harder still the waiting, when to war their men go riding. battle bravely have no fear my dearest go but in four weeks return homeward bringing your old mother's heart rest go but in four weeks return homeward bringing your old mother's heart rest God alone knows when I'll return from fighting with the foemen For my horse just stumbled on a stone Which surely is an evil omen For my horse just stumbled on a stone Which surely is an evil omen Other men saw the omen's warning Felt death Touch them coldly, knowing they must still ride onward, hid their fear by whistling boldly. Knowing they must still ride onward, hid their fear by whistling boldly. Off to war rode the Cossacks whistling, while their foes lay sleeping by the gate. Stands Marusanyaka silently watching, weeping. By the gate stands Marusanyaka silently watching, weeping. Just opened with wares guaranteed to amaze. Dark chocolate with fine liqueur fillings. Milk chocolate delighting your gaze. But hovering off near the counter, obscured by the overhead glare. The slender dark man there is watching As you pick out your chocolates with care He's so understanding to talk to He knows what obsessions are like since everyone works in the daytime, he keeps his shop open all night. 
Should you come in after midnight Or you should linger too long He may offer to share a sweet secret You'd be better off going Once he satisfied your lust for his chocolates, he'll ask if he might have a bite. His century-old chocolate obsession makes you this vampire's delight. For all of you chocolate lovers. Beware as you stroll through the night Nibbling your kisses or troubles For he sometimes steps out For a But one part of three Three who were wrought out of one Made by the dark gods of old In forges that ne'er saw the sun They forged us in ages long gone Forged out of steel and of spell That those we slew would be cursed Condemned to a fiery hell sent us out in the world an axe a spear and I yet I am all that remains and someday I too will die the first to wield me was Eric son of Rolf son of Sven he died upon a field slain by his own Viking kin was William the Bold, a warrior brave and true. He never did feed me enough. I know that you understand too. Thorn the bastard came then and pulled me out of his breast and carried me off with him upon his midnight quest. Now he was a kindred soul His thirst was as great as mine He let me drink my fill For those I slew were mine In battle he was killed And while the victors took me As part of the winner's spoil Carried me over the sea I am as shiny as new Unscarred, unnicked, and unscratched My hilt is unborn, though used My scabbard as yet unpatched I now drink his blood From servant to master I rose Know me by what I search for 